Mitad, the Spanish word for half. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Ecuador. We are in Parque Carolina, and it's a perfect way to start out your day, whether it be exercising like them. Smile for heaven's sake! Yeah! Or flying your drone, like me. But today I wanted to explain five things that I've learned in our three weeks here in Ecuador. Things that you might want to know if you are planning to come here to visit Ecuador. Things that surprise me. First thing that you should know is that they use US dollars here, which is great for me because I'm used to the US dollars. And they do that because a few years ago they wanted a money system that was consistent. And the US dollars is consistent. I wish though that South America had their own currency, that I didn't have to worry about exchanging money going from Colombia to Chile to Ecuador. I wish we all just had the same currency. It would be so much easier. So, if you could work on that, that would be great, South America. But, the second thing. Two, the buses here are super cheap. It's like 20 cents to go from one side of the whole city to the other side. Very, very cheap. Three, Ecuador means equator. And so from Quito, you can come and see the experiments on the equator, and it's impressive. Here are a couple of them. So if you ever get a chance to come here to Ecuador and come to Quito, it's about a half an hour, 20 cent ride up to the equator. And it is absolutely incredible. And the experiments were so cool. There's one with an egg, there's one with water where it just drops straight down on the equator. And then you walk two steps to the left or to the right of that, and it goes and swirls in a different direction. I always thought it was a joke when people in North America would tell me in science class that, well, if you flush the toilet here, does it look different in Chile? Well, it does. And it's supposed to. There's a reason for it. And we got to see that. It was a really, really neat, cool experience to come to the actual equator, the mitad del mundo. Amazing. <laughs> So this museum is $4 to enter. Pretty cheap for going to the middle of the world. But don't be deceived. There's a massive monument about 100 meters away. I don't know how many meters, but not very far away. That is not the center anymore. It used to be, but well, better scientists came along and they figured out that this is the center of the world. And Quito actually means center of the world. That's why the city is named Quito. But also you have different monuments from all of the South American countries here which is pretty neat. Number four is eating out. 
it has been so cheap for us to go and eat out for lunch here. It's right around three or four dollars to go and eat out. However, if you go to Gringolandia, which is basically this area called Folks, um, not so good. Not, not so cheap. And the fifth thing that you should know before coming to Quito is, well, it's the highest capital in the world. So, you run out of your breath really, really, really quickly, especially because it's very mountainous. It's beautiful, but it's very mountainous. So you go up and down. But then when you go down, you have to go back up again. And... Uh... Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video for today. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. And check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All the links are right below. And what a cool experience for Elise and I to go to the center of the world. Really, really neat to see the different experiments in balancing the egg, which I couldn't do. The water going down the faucet, just straight down instead of swirling. It was an amazing experience and I hope that you all get to have that experience someday as well. But also hope you enjoyed the five different things that I took away from coming here to Quito. Quito is a beautiful city, absolutely beautiful with all of the mountains surrounding and there's a lot of things to do. However, I say now that I'm from Chile and I am super excited to go back and see our dogs and go back home and go to school and live the normal life. However, I am extremely grateful for what this school has taught me. And there have been a lot of people asking me, well, where is this school? Where can I get more information? More information is right below. It's called Vida Verde School, and it's right here in Quito. All the things that we do in the afternoon are with the school as well. You can also go to the rainforest. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video for today, and we'll see you guys next time for another adventure. But for now, ciao, Pascal. Thank you.